As mentioned in the last video, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused our sentiment on the future of the market to go down. In today's video, I would like to talk about how we impact our real estate industry. Due to the current situation, a few of my clients have already called me and asked if there are any price drop in the market. For some people, financial security is very important. And with the extra time at home, they're looking to me and real estate for upcoming ways to expand their financial growth. The following are the statistics before and after the province declared state of emergency. Our transaction decreased by almost 50%. However, our price have not changed yet. First, due to the liquidity of housing, Housing act as the last indicator of whether we are heading to a bull market or a bear market. In the short term, we will not see any changes in the housing market. However, in the long term, we will see that the housing market may be flat or may even go down depending on how long the crisis is going for. In addition, we need to take into account on how capable the government can cope with the virus. For your information, the number coming out from Korea and China now indicate that the shutdown can be shorter and more effective than we initially expect. They are seeing fewer and fewer cases, which may indeed indicate that they are heading to the recovery stage. I sincerely hope that our government can take this seriously and as soon as possible to mitigate any potential loss. On February, our number of sales increased by more than 45.6% compared to the same month last year. Our number of sales will slow down because government has been asking us to keep a social distance from everyone as much as possible. Additionally, Ontario Real Estate Board have announced to stop all face-to-face -face business which includes no open house or in-person showing. It will definitely scare away a lot of buyers. As of March 25th, 2020, I strongly urge you not to sell your property unless you are facing a liquidity problem by holding your property. On the other hand, if you really need to sell your property, I would suggest you to list it with the following advice. As people's sentiment change, they may want to pay less than your normal comparable price. Since October, we have seen price increase by 6.5%. As such, I would recommend that you use what's your neighborhood sold for in the late 2019 instead of what was sold a month ago. Additionally, our team offered the following service when it comes to selling a home, which include virtual tour, which you can access online easily, and a nice unique video with my description on how the units look like. A FaceTime tour from the agent and last but not least, having a e-meeting using Google Hangouts, Zoom, FaceTime every day to discuss your current market situation. If you want to know more information on real estate, and feel free to subscribe my channel and give me a call. My phone number is 647-638-9210.